Hey, this is Alexis with Alexis Reads and welcome to my channel. Talking about or rambling about just some books I've read and recently I just finished listening to Bow Before the Elf Queen by J.M. Curl. Um, I'm a big audiobook fan. I will make a separate video about that, but I'm big on audiobooks and found this on my library. All the audiobooks I get with the exception of a few there are maybe two new releases that I can't find at library then I'll purchase but most of my audiobooks comes from the library and I loved Bow Before the Elf Queen uh this just released um when did Bow Before the Lord this released um in April of 2022 I did not realize it was this newer book again just found it it is fantastic. Uh, it has a couple of tropes. If you love the arranged marriage trope, any of these to lovers type of trope, um, just forbidden romance type of trope, this is the one for you. So we do follow a female lead character in this uh, story. Thanks, dog. Named Liala. And we get to follow her throughout her journey of really also finding herself. Um, we do have a strong female lead character she is an elf and when she was born she was an elf born of elf an elf born with magic which hasn't happened it hadn't happened in a long time and once she was born with magic there is this type of basically test they do to see if babies are born with magic her parents took her to the king which is a normal tradition found out that she had magic and Leala were was made to be kept with the king and the king actually supposed to marry when they became of age the whole idea was for Layala to stay there with the king and the parents couldn't see him parents weren't having that the parents threw a fit and basically they died trying to protect their child and sent their child to live with their aunt and actually the main female character ends up living with um her aunt who have who is human um in a human city or town for close to 25 years it wasn't until right before for her 25th birthday she meets this mysterious person and bam here goes the journey of being taken from her home to, to finish off this arranged marriage we come to find out there's certain reasons that these things to happen we learn that the female character uh has a lot of magical powers but never used it because in this story we also have what they call pale ones so it definitely gave me this type of apocalyptic like zombie uh game of throne vibes because you do have like these pale ones walking around i would say more of like kind of game of thrones because some of the pale ones uh and i can't remember what they were called in game of thrones but they have some of them have higher and higher intelligence so this is really interesting so not only do we have elves not only do you have a magic system not only have, do you have like this kind of forbidden love taken away from home forced marriage then you also have what they call the pale ones walking around um trying to eat you uh so if they eat you you're dead if they bite you you turn into a pale one it's like a whole combination this story is fantastic it's amazing I definitely recommend um female character is definitely headstrong she's not your typical lady and saying things politely and i love that i love how female character just who she is forget politeness she's very blunt and to the point i love that our main male character um actually is just kind of the sweetest thing his name is thane absolutely a sweetheart thane knew about uh they both knew about the range marriage but they knew uh that this was actually going to be the love of his life he had this feeling they have a connection that Leala didn't know there was a connection but when she re kind of reflects back in her life there were certain people that she's met through this new journey that we're reading about that she says i feel like i've seen them before so they have a bond a connection they are mated together not only arranged marriage i should have said that in the beginning they are mated so that's important to know too so they have this bond and it becomes stronger as they get to know each other um but there is a bond that happens and i just love how thane is a sweetheart he does fall for her first you know just waited for her in many different ways never really had a lover at all because he knew that she was the one so you are on this journey about these kind of two main characters trying to find their way um will they fall in love while also going through the idea of there are pale ones literally coming after towns destroying towns 
also the main character Thane is a king and king of a kingdom you find out a couple different things and dark secrets during the way and then you also realize that the city that he is over is basically the main people who are protecting almost everyone from pale ones you kind of find out that there's other cities or even other kingdoms i will call it that are not doing any type of help or fighting against the pale ones but yet um thane's kingdom is the main ones doing it so you have that type of interesting um dynamic going on i thought this book was fantastic it's definitely a slow burn um slow burn in regards to like the romance and the build-up um, but there is a lot of tension not only when it comes to what's going on in the world but also what's going on um within love life um so again definitely recommend let's get into like a spoiler category so i'll put like a little spoiler thing in here hopefully i'll just keep it down maybe somewhere in the bottom so if you do fast forward because i know how it is you gotta fast sometimes you want to fast forward through videos so uh, i will put the spoiler so if you have not read bow before the elf queen and you do not want to get any spoilers please go ahead dip out now um and if you don't care about spoilers or read it stay with me all right so let's get into it i really did like a lot of the secrets on both ends there were secrets about Layala in regards to her being young like i can't imagine in your 20s you have a lover that, and that is not the main character thing she has a different lover a human lover and you actually it's your first time you make love and all of a sudden you wake up next and your lover is dead like literally you see poison seeping through him so Layala's secret is definitely about her like I cannot make love to anyone because they thought die like they automatically die like that is something torturous to have so I do love how there was tension build up there was a get a lot of tension build up I was like oh my gosh come on I think I just read like another book filled with a little bit more spice and it came a little faster which I don't mind it being a slow burn but I was like oh my goodness let's make it happen come on but the slow burn was good but I cannot imagine um that whole type that whole thing thinking you're gonna kill someone um I loved how Layala tried to kill Thane like three or four times like come on and um and I knew before this happened I knew there was a traitor in the group like again so like I knew there was a traitor in the group and I did not realize which one it was but she realized it's Sunshine I can't remember his real name for some reason but I just remember the nickname Sunshine is like ugh, that is just terrible and their half brothers like uh boo tomato 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 and so that was like a thane secret i thought thane's secret was real like him killing his father but he went into the void and he didn't see him die like mm, like i knew he was, we already knew he was gonna come back it wasn't like a big big surprise that he came back but it's just like oh gosh um and i just i don't know like i just feel like this whole time i really love Thane. like Thane waiting for Layala as far as, far as like he's a, a, a male virgin in a book I'm sure there's other books I read I just can't think about it but about it but it's not many times you see a young a male who's in his 20s like he is in his 20s and waited for her as far as his virginity and, and I kind of was I love that dynamic I'm not saying it's something like oh I always want to see but I'm just saying I like how it was different because I don't see that that often and um it was cute during a time period of where he was like um uh his friend uh oh my goodness what's the name finn finn anyway someone gave him the good friend of their little trio or quad now gave him a book and he was looking at it and saw some interesting photos i thought it was so cute another thing which i guess is not a spoiler maybe i'll also put this in the beginning i'm not sure my favorite character of this book was tiff upon like tiff I've definitely read books that I've laughed out loud, but this book I was not expect like there's other books I expected to laugh out loud. This one, every time Tiffa Pine like came into the scene, I was cackling. Like it was hilarious. I also think the audiobook person did a fantastic job at uh, using the voice. Like I just pictured Tiffa Pine and just the wild and off the wall things she said. Like, I mean, that is a friend that you like you I love like you gotta have that type of friend and maybe in doses because sometimes she just pops up because of the off wall stuff but I loved Tiff Upon I thought it was a perfect balance I thought it was hilarious it made some serious moments like his like hysterical I mean the author did such a great job at adding such a funny character to this book so all in all 
we made some spoilers. If you read this book, um, let me know. Like, how did you feel about it? Are you going to read this book? Also, let me know um, if you're planning to read on it. Read on it. Are you going to do an audiobook version? This book was in an audiobook in my library. Um, I'm looking. I'm not sure if book two. I don't know when book two is out, but I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to go. Fantastic read. An unexpected read because my library, I literally see recommended books and pick one. And bam, this was a fantastic book. So Bow Before the Elf Queen, please go ahead and read that. And make sure you definitely like and subscribe. Follow me on my social media, at, on Instagram, at Alexis Reads as well. And come back next time for the next book ramble that I have. See ya.